What's up, my nerd nation? Welcome to a Let's Play that I've been dying to play for like a year now. Uh, this is To the Moon, and if you haven't seen it, then you are in for a trip, guys. It's going to be amazing. Um, I have played it once before on stream, and it was... <laughs> just prepare your tissues. Um, now, just because I've played it before and have experienced it does not mean that I don't react the same way every single time I see this game being played or hear the music or even talk about the game. It's, it's a really intense game. It's probably one of my favorite games to this day. So uh, finally I'm sitting down to uh, start the Let's Play of it and I hope that you guys enjoy every minute of it because I know I will. And uh, best part is I don't remember a lot of the in-between things other than like the really, you know, major stuff. So uh, we're still going to have a lot of fun. Alright, let's get started. Oh god, this music though. Also, this is the first Let's Play I will be releasing on my channel since last year's Power Ranger Let's Play. And this it's actually been over a full year since I've done this. So, uh, excuse me if I'm a little rusty at it. I've been doing a lot of live streaming, so maybe I'm better at the, you know, talking myself than a thing and talking, pretending you guys are actually listening, although you will be by the time, you know, you're watching. It's kind of cool. So my favorite part about this game, aside from the story, is definitely the music. The music 100% is what makes this game. Little kids playing the piano. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Good driving. Dr. Rosaline. <clears throat> Where are you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. All right, Dr. Watts. That's right, I love Dr. Watts. You guys, you guys probably love him too. You ran over it anyways. Oh, poor squirrely. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. All right, Dr. Rosaline, chill. Click on an object to interact. Received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Autobots, roll out. Let's see the scroll. Aw, tisk tisk. Aw, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? <laughs> That's asking too much. Man, this doctor. This side, that side. Let's go this way. Eh, click. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Ooh, automatic door closing and trunk closing. Okay. Okay. How thoughtful of you. Ah, oh, the music is so beautiful. The bird. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Wow, it, it took the time to freeze it just to have that bird fly over. The details. This game is amazing. Tweet. Huh? Tweet. I click the tree and that bird goes, what are you doing? Don't touch my home. Who put this boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. <laughs> Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Is that her attempt of not cursing? All right. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's just, let's just push it by hand. Abort mission was one of the options. All right, on three. One, two, three. Boing, boing. <laughs> I, I don't even. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Thank you, Rosaline. Uh, uh, we need to get going for now. Well, we'll uh, we'll figure that thing out later. <laughs> right. All right. Let's let's go ahead and. Move along now. Oh, squirrelies! 
Oh, that was cute. So I personally really love RPG Maker games. I mean, they're, they're simplistic, but the story is always amazeballs. It's always so fun to learn what's going on. And, I mean, I'm a crappy gamer myself, so not having to deal with too many mechanics really helps out. <laughs> Ma, they're here! Whoa. Hello. Creeping out the window. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? Oh, this, looks, this looks like a pretty big place. Oh, I could do better. Okay, Watts. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. Come on, who doesn't have coffee? I'm sure they have coffee. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. <laughs> Not through your blathering, they won't. <laughs> and you're... <laughs> oh, I missed that. No, no. Don't forget the equipment, moron! I'm gonna kill this bitch. I'm gonna pay enough for this. Yes. Yes. Reverse into the house. Beep, 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 beep. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Alright, guys. I know the game has some comedic parts between these two, but it is a field strip and a half, and I tell you guys, get the tissues ready because I, I you know I need I need some tissues I don't have tissues ready but I'm, I'm gonna need them <sighs> Lily says Dr. Watson Dr. Rosaline I presume ah, this is such a good soundtrack thanks for coming on such a short notice that's okay I tend to be a, a bad at predicting deaths as deaths as well are you the patient's daughter oh no I'm just a caretaker kids and these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. So, from that we gather Johnny's dying. Here we go. Oh, like I said, I know, but you know, just for you guys, you know. <laughs> He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. All right. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> oh, oh, grab, grab the stuff. Grab the stuff. Come on, Watts. Received equipment. All right. Let's head upstairs before I drop this. Wee. Wee. Come on. Go upstairs? Yeah, let's go. It's a dying man waiting for us. Ain't no time to lose. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Man, I wish I could play piano. Oh, he got there first. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway. All right, guys. Welcome to To The Moon. This music always gets me. Uh, game hasn't even started yet. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there is no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Kids, can you not be playing a sad song when this man is laying in his deathbed? It's just, ah, just why? All right, Lily, ready to set up? Let's do it. Yes, it'll just be a moment. I'm gonna go explore the house a little bit too. I know it said I could set up, but I, I hope I can do a little wandering. I should have done that. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Ugh. Oh crap. <laughs> it's 
Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. Because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? So guys, if you haven't guessed, basically, uh, you know, I don't really know what year this is set in, but it's a future where they can tap into, you know, his subconsciousness and uh, kind of, you know, kind of take him and bring him to where he wants to be um, in his head, you know. It's kind of like, they kind of fulfill his last wish thing. It's like they, they turn his dreams into reality in a way. It's kind of crazy. It's actually, it, it is crazy, and that's why this game is so beautiful. It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info? I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. I think I just got a Facebook notification. I thought I closed out of Facebook before getting doing this. Oh god, I'm sorry about that, guys. Ignore it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Let's bring Watts. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. Oh, Watts. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. Yeah, Rosalind, you do your thing. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Thanks, lady, but I'm gonna go check out this arrow first. What's in this room? It's a bathroom! Oh, we can turn on the lights. Sweet. We can probably turn off the lights. Sweet. Let's turn off all the lights. Gotta save that power. We're using it. Oh, wait. Oh, this turns them both off. Interesting. Alright, let's get out of here. Um. Oh, what's, what's this? Huh? A selection of readings from medical journals. Hmm. I don't really, don't really want to read that stuff, huh? Oh, don't want to talk to you. Let's check, let's check this stuff out. Title was I thought they were lighthouses or something, right? So, a painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Hmm. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. Of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Nice decorations for the house. Come, come on. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Oh, okay. Sorry, Doc. Sure thing. What do you got, Doc? Here, take this. Receive a remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. In menu? Oh, cool. I don't think I've actually noticed this. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, we can save. Let's save. Let's go to file two. Alright guys, so I'm thinking about 20 minute play times. I'd say. 20 minute play times for each let's play clock. And uh, yeah, I think that's enough for us. Hey kids! Kids, you guys play really well, but you're supposed to show me around the house. What you want? A show around the house? Hey, your ma told me to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? 
I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! <laughs> Why did I give the little girl a deep voice? <laughs> I'm really bad at voiceovers, guys, so a lot of these people are going to sound exactly the same, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Er, what? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. <laughs> Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well, sure. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or i just tell your mother. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go! Bossy little bitches. It's almost like some kind of a terrible quest to get my night started. I love Watts. He makes like references to like the game and the fact that he's like in a game. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I don't know. There's that candy cane. Man, even I can't reach it. This mom knows how to hide stuff. Turn on the light. Oh, that's a light. Can I, can I grab one of these chairs maybe? Oh, oh, this thing. Huzzah! Go get it, Watts. Received candy cane. All right, kids. I'm coming for you. That, can't, that sounds horrible, but I'm coming for you. Booyah! Like taking candy from an... What is that saying? Something, baby? Go. go. No, go go this way. Under the door. There you go. There you go. Hey, you. All right, kids. Now I got the candy. All right, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there. But I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. <laughs> Alright, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Or what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. <laughs> we need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. What the hell is the study? Is this the study? This is definitely the study. This is the book room! The key to the funny room is in the thickest book in the upper shelf. So up here? That one. That looks like a thick book. Read the passage. No. How about this one? Read the passage. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, where the hell is this key? Go. Uh, I got it. I got it. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. Hee hee. Hee hee. Just a bunch of books in here. They've nothing I don't know about, though. Alright. Okay, Tommy. Little rascal, you. We can open, open the funny room in the basement now. Yeah, let's go to the funny room, guys. we we'll probably end in the funny room because it's funny. Right? Right? This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Alright, kid. There, you happy? Alright, is this the funny room over here? The door is locked. Open door with room key. Oh, I don't know why. I just got chills, though. Like When the music stops, it's just like, oh, what's going on? It's like a cave in here. Light. I don't know how, guys, but I completely forgot about this room. And the music. I completely forgot that this was even a thing. Okay. A rabbit folded out of paper. A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. Poke it. Uh, oh no. Let's take it. Receive toy platypus. A broken music box. This is just, okay, this is creepy. I'm out. I'm done. Okay. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. There's a lighthouse here, of course. 
Right, yeah, that's important, duh. <laughs> Wanna go see? I got the keys! Let me guess, you aren't supposed to go in there either. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you two. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Decision? We'll go see the lighthouse. Oh, the heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Your wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Alright guys, we're um, definitely passing our time. So, um, this is a great little start to the game. Uh, we haven't even gotten to enter the machine and truly get to you know the game itself but we're getting a lot of little snippets little snippets here and there of the backstory and uh yeah without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode and we'll see you guys in episode two if you enjoy it and i i urge you guys to keep coming back for this series because it is one of the most beautiful games ever all right guys i'll see you in the next one later